also come back to the town hall where we have a lot of programming in line with the great work that uh, this group does, including uh, some surprise events, maybe with some folks you know, uh, Philip Glass Ensemble, Reba McIntyre, Henry Winkler, and a whole bunch of other surprises. But tonight, I hope we can all just have a great time listening to music from all over the U.S., transcribed and functified and put upside down on its head by this incredible group of musicians. And thank you so much, Rynesti and Dan Feshman, who's watching from home, for continuing this partnership with us. It's wonderful to be here at Bryant Park. The Town Hall thanks you all for being here. Thank you.
Thank you so much. All right, this part, I'm going to teach y'all a singing part. And I'm going to try not to do too much talking, but you kind of have to, you know? It's not every day you get a black and native woman standing on the stage in the middle of the city in Bryant Park, hey? We are indigenizing New York City. <laughs> We're telling all the stories. And so it's an honor to be here as a guest on Manhattan, in the land of the Lenape people. Shout out to my many friends in the Lenape community. And so this song is, talks about the struggles that we all have. And everybody goes through it. This song is called Hard Living. And what I do is we have singing parts every now and again. All right? So let's pick up the pieces. Ready? So you repeat after me, OK?
on fiddle. Robin McIntyre on guitar. <laughs> All right. This is a song that is dedicated to all of the women. band in New York City tonight. <laughs> but I wanted to properly introduce myself <laughs> to everybody because 
I'm meeting you for the first time. I know you're probably seeing me for the first time unless you hang out in Joe's pub, you know? <laughs> but, um, so anyway, like I was saying, I am black and native. I am Cherokee and Choctaw and African American. And my family, I'm a proud descendant of Almeida Cole from Eastern Ban, North Carolina. And we, have, we are a coal mining family. We made a lot of journeys. Our family lived throughout Black Mountain. And we have a lot of stories to share and to tell. And on my dad's side, I'm African American, also from North Carolina, from Robson County. And we are also um, Lumpy as well, descendants of, of that. And there's also a very long history there to tell. And they, we have about, mm, I would say probably about 300 relatives <laughs> in North Carolina. We have a very big family. And, um, and my grandpa came from Alabama, Mississippi, to work in the coal mines. And that's where he met my grandma. And that's where my mom came from. And then my mom met my dad out of the military and came to New York City. And that's where I was born. And I guess the two cultures back in the 70s, 60s and 70s, was when the two black and indigenous communities were really together, you know, fighting for civil rights for each other, standing side by side. And so I feel like the legacy of the history of this country lies within me. And I feel that it's my responsibility to share these stories because we had everything taken away from us and we've had to claim all of it back, to reclaim our power and reclaim our stories. And we've had to tell our stories and tell our stories so that not just for myself and for who we are and where we are today, but the decisions and stories that we're sharing are for our children's children. So everything that we're doing and, and voting for and fighting for and writing about and sharing and singing about, all of these things, all of these stories are not just for ourselves to enjoy in this very moment, in our time, but it's for generations to come. And that's why we will never be silent again. So tonight, a couple of songs that I'm going to share with you, you know, as a songwriter, the, the first uh, three songs that you heard were written by myself and, and my partner here, Aaron Whitby, who I will introduce properly to you. Um, but um, the songs, songs come to you, not only songs that you actually write, but they come to you in dreams, and they are also gifts. And this particular song that I'm going to share with you um, is a song that is a gift. And, and it was given to me last year in a tribute concert that I was invited to, to sing. And, um, and this was a song that was written by a man from England who turned 80 years old last year. Anybody know who I'm talking about? Paul McCartney, that's right. So I was invited to sing this song. And, and the song is called Blackbird. So I was doing some research about the song and I learned that Paul wrote this song and it was inspired by the civil rights movement and two African-American women elders, well, at the time. And so I found this article and I saw that he um, reconnected with them after all these years and I thought, here's this amazing man, one of the greatest artists in the world who wrote this song from a place of empathy and solidarity. And how can I honor what he's done musically for the civil rights movement? And I thought, in the 21st century, I can sing it from a place of joy and positivity and hope and compassion and to show him that even though we've come a long way, we have a long way to go, 
but look at how far we've come. So I'm going to share this song and sing this song to you from a place of joy, okay? As we call it, black girl joy, as they call it, right? <laughs> I know I made somebody rise up with that one. <laughs> okay, so here you go, Blackbird. Singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly Oh, you're alive You were only waiting for this moment to
All right, now that we've turned our Bryant Park into Bryant Church. <laughs> All right. So, do y'all know what the church clap is? Okay. So, what we know about the church clap is rule number one friends don't let friends clap on one and three. It's not polka. <laughs> All right. So, we're in New York City. I see a a lot of black and brown faces to help you out there. So we can look to your left and look to your right, and if people start getting confused, we can just stop and start again, all right? So let's try that, let's try that out. So church clap is this. That's what I love about New York, you know? Church clap to find my 
How's everybody feeling? Thank you so much for participating and just making this a real party for us. It's such a gift. You know, we just had three years being indoors and as musicians, you know, we had to do a lot of praying to keep our sanity because our livelihood relies on the gathering of people. So when you remove that, we're just like in rehearsal, <laughs> you know? But we're so grateful to the town hall and Bryant Park for inviting us. So grateful to the town hall for seeing me, you know, and I've been an independent artist my whole life and grassroots because I wanted to share stories about my community and I didn't want a big corporation trying to tell me what to say and not to say when it comes to talking about my family and relatives and friends, you know? So every time I feel that, you know, folks like the guys at the town hall give me a call, that means they see me, they see us, and they're interested in us telling our stories. And that's a really beautiful thing, you know? So I'm really, really, truly grateful. And every show that we do and every person that we encounter, that is how we do it. That is how we create community, you know? I'm so grateful to all the friends that I see in the audience who came out and some who are like, who was like this the last time, but they're, you know? I'm not calling, I'm not naming any names, but her initials are Gracie. <laughs> and so, anyways, um, I want to give a shout out to, man, I was trying to find the numbers of the data of how many um, urban natives there are in New York City. I think it's like over 100,000 now, huh? It's more or less, right? And um, so this next song that I'm sharing is, a, is a, another song that came as a gift. And, um, and I'm going to share it with you because it came into our lives and we were invited to record this particular song by our very dear Anishinaabe um, friend, Keith Sokola who produced this with um, John Densmore from The Doors. So I know some of you are young enough to remember The Doors, huh? And so uh, this song was also recorded by Johnny Cash. So if it's good enough for Johnny Cash, and I wore my black and white for Johnny tonight, hey? <clears throat> so anyway, in this song, there's a singing part in it for you. And it's a song that tells the story about our American Indian boarding schools. And this week there is more information in the newspapers and these are stories that we've been talking about since for a hundred years. And so now, you know, papers like the Washington Post and New York Times are sharing our stories, it's time. And I think for the first time in a very long time, people are listening, which is a really beautiful thing. That means that we are becoming the global community that we have all dreamed of being, right? So here's your singing part. There are drums! There are drums! That's it. That's your singing part. I don't make you work too hard. So there was one, there's a couple of people who I did not have a chance to introduce you to on this stage who have been really holding down the fort. And on drums, we have Mr. Addis Clopton. He's got the best smile in New York City. And last but not least, you you know, right here, just taking one look at him. Mama. Yep, he's ours. Mama. Give some love to Mr. Fred Cash on that face.
walks our thunder proud and bold. And there are drums beyond the mountain. There are drums.
But we taught it to you first. We broke your hearts and fed your journey. Broken treaties led us cursed. Even now you try to cheat us. Even though you think we're tame. In our losing, we found proudness. And in your winning, you found shame. And there are drugs. There are drugs. Talking of civil rights, we just had the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington over the weekend. And um, last year, what got us through COVID were some music commissions. And um, I was invited to create a song using the text of civil rights activist and leader of SNCC the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Commission, right? Community, James Foreman. And so this song was um, created using his text from his interviews, um, some speeches, and we put them together and made this really beautiful song. And his main concern later in his life um, was who's going to do this work for us because we're elders now who is going to hand over the torch who are we handing over to the torch who's going to take, do this good work and continue doing it James Foreman, I don't know if many of you know this but James Foreman's, the archives of all his texts and speeches are right here in New York City at Queens College because he wanted all students of any kind of economic um, status to be able to have free access to his work. So if you go to Queens College, you can go into the archives in their library and you can see and hear and read all things James Foreman and SNCC legacy. So um, this particular commission, this is the time that I'm introducing my partner in crime. You heard him holding down the fort on the keys and the organ and the keyboards. And he's not only my music partner and our music director of this band, but he's also my partner in life and love. He is my husband, whether I like it or not. No, just kidding. <laughs> he is my husband of, count this, 30 years. And look how good I look. That's how you know he's good. I'm lucky to have him. So we both get medals. We get double, double Oscars. <laughs> anyway, give some love. He's my souvenir all the way from London, England. Final sale, no return. Aaron Whitby, everyone. You know, when we first got together, 
back in 19 coffee cough we, we used to call ourselves Captain and Tennille, you know. I still, now we really are Captain and Tennille. <laughs> anyway, here's the James Foreman song for you, and it's called I've Got Gold. You can drown this old body but you can't harm my soul I've come too far I'm too old I've gone down too many roads and I dug deep you know what I got I got gold I got gold It shines in dark places I got gold It shines in dark places but this torch was not lit to be admired While standing still It was built to be Carried high aloft By a great mass of people Traveling along off of a moral universe in search of the justice It bends to all And he gave us his road map And we still hear his quiet voice Steering us, compelling us He said, get up, take up this torch Move, lead, who will lend a hand? We will And he said Get up, take up this torch Move, leave, who will lend a hand We win I got gold It shines in dark places I got gold It shines in dark places There should be a projection and an organization of indigenous leadership. I mean leadership from the community. Explain local struggles dependent on the actions, the engagement with the people on the ground. We should save most of our energy for an organized struggle. The best skills are agitating field organizing and writing traveling the long walk of a moral universe he gave us his road and we still hear his quiet voice steering us compelling us and he said get up take up this torch move lead who will lend a hand who oh, we will oh and he said get up Take up this torch, move, lead, who will lend a hand, we will. I got gold, it shines in dark places. I got gold, it shines in dark places. Put your hands together. He said, get up. Take up this torch, move, lead, who will lend a hand, who we will. Oh, and he said, get up, take up this torch, move, lead, who will lend a hand, who we will. That's right. What he said, what he said. Get up, take up this torch, move, lead, who will lend a hand, we will. That's right, we will. And he said, get up. Take up this torch, move, lead, who 
Thank you. Okay, you guys ready to learn a new vocal bowl? <laughs> I'm trying to correct the language as we go along because we don't really say chant, but a lot of people say that we say chant. It's a vocal bowl. That's the correct word. <laughs> so here's your vocal bowl, all right? Way ya hey hearing some musicians, some real singers in this audience tonight. Hmm. That sounded mighty sweet. Where ya hey ya Where ya hey ya Alright, so when you hear me sing that, just Join in with me, okay? So don't wait for like call and response. Just like join in like like if you're all in the band with us but not getting a paycheck. All right. <clears throat> so I'm I'm giving you that preface. This is a song that I wrote about our family, four generations of women surviving in Black Mountain, holding on desperately to our old ways as the world changes around us and we keep facing the, the threat of removal yet again because of all of the things that are going on with climate change, environment, mountaintop removal, all those things. And so um, I'm honoring our survival, okay? <clears throat> this is a song called 40 Wheels. It's also a song about the Trail of Tears. But back home, we call the Trail of Tears the Long Walk. A lot of people don't know that where my family's from in Kentucky was also one of the trails in Hopkinsville. And you can go and visit it. And there's a really interesting stuff in that area, in that part of town. Anyway, so this song I dedicate to my family and all the women, my family. I would not be here without them. And all the strength and the struggles, because really it's all about the struggles that give you the strength, right? So, okay. <clears throat> And because we're in New York, I'm not going to say, I'm going to just use Appalachia because we're southeastern woodlands, okay?
All right, we only have a couple more songs. How's everybody doing? Y'all still with us? I want to thank you all again for taking a chance on us coming and checking out some of our music and so you know our original songwriting and it's a real honor to share our music with you and it's a real honor to be here I want to thank the town hall team again for believing in us for seeing us and um, and for hearing our stories and I hope you guys had a good time we had a really great time and we have all the social media and so Instagram I really love because it's like magazine online so find Martha Redbone on Instagram and give me a heart and a, and a hug there and I'll write you back a song called Underdog so far, knock on wood, that I don't have it still, so, came close a couple of times, but those dang cheesecakes, hey? Like me. 
into church, all right? Okay, but, but not New York church, down south church. Okay, during like revival season. How about that? <laughs> Remember my church clap rules, right? Friends don't let friends clap on. That's what I'm talking about, New York City. You know, I have, like I said, my roots are in Kentucky, but I was born right here in New York City. That's right. Yep. Okay. And I think you'll be familiar with this song, but all you have to do is do the church class. And get up and dance if you want. This is the last song, so if you're able to get up, get on up. This train is bound for glory. This train. If y'all know this song, let me hear you say, yeah. If you're too young to know this song, let me hear you say, yeah. In this train. the righteous and the holy I see this train is bound for glory I see this train
Seven of them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. But before you leave, You must not forget me when I'm long gone Because I loved you so dearly Sugar honey To we da, to we da, to we da, yo Hey, to we da, yo To we da, ha, to we da, ha, yo we on the shoulder, I know I know we. We on the shoulder, I know I know we. We on the shoulder, I know I know we. Janani, hey, don't know we. Janani, hey, don't know we. Well, I'm looking to the east, and everything is beautiful. I'm looking to the south. And everything is beautiful, I'm looking to the north. And everything is beautiful, I'm looking to the west. And everything is beautiful, Janani, they don't know it. I wish you that I give me a bonica, bonica, and they know it. Thank you so much. Yakoke. Take care. And we say back home, Dorada, Gohai. Dorada, Gohai. Dorada, Gohai. Take care.